what is up guys welcome back to the anti-racing youtube channel we are here in home depot because we have a special little project that we're going to be working on this weekend that uh tyler kind of decided on his own today tell him what we're going to be doing gonna be doing some rattle can spray paint of what of the s197 oh shit what color race car red race car red so it's already red as you guys know but it's gonna be a better red and we're gonna get a bunch of supplies here in order to do it the best we can with the rattle can so stay <music> primer and it's pretty much turned into a complete restoration at this point because we got body filler to fix the dents so we got 12 cans of red 10 cans of clear two cans of primer the body filler some plastic some sandpaper two masks and we still got to go get some uh, wax and grease remover and some food and then we're going to start working on this thing and we're going to make it more red than it's ever been it's gonna look sick. Yeah. We finally made it to the race house and we have successfully turned his garage into a ghetto fied paint booth. It's actually super clean in here. So I'm pretty uh, confident on the way that this paint job is gonna come out. I think it's gonna look great. Um, well, at least the passenger side is because now I'm spraying the passenger side and Tyler's spraying the driver's side. So he's responsible for the driver's side. I'm responsible for the passenger side. Uh, hopefully it just looks the same. Um, that'd be uh, that'd be ideal as long as it looks the same um, But yeah, I think it's gonna come out great. I actually lied. We're not painting Tyler's car. We're gonna paint this bike uh, Yeah, right <laughs> oh Why not God. you don't want to spray can it yeah, you don't want to no. you don't want to turn it red. No, thank what you. is this thing? Uh, 2023 GSXR 1000 damn Yeah. What are you what are you selling? What am I selling? Yeah Fucking. I don't know bro <laughs> <laughs> you get the tag out of there yeah, yeah but this thing's oh, pretty no, nice yo start it out. up for him right. hit it what's in that cup the bacardi uh fucking uh malibu and pineapple juice jesus dude so. you said more cuss words in this little clip than i've said on the entire youtube channel but we're gonna roll with it <laughs> <laughs> sorry youtube Jeez. she got the brimbos Pretty nice. Give him a little pop. Give him a little pop. It's warm, right? <laughs> okay. And last but not least, how are you feeling about this job? Feeling good. Yeah. Now that we finally have a official paint booth now. Official. Yeah. yeah official. official. Yeah. yeah so we got out. all we got the walls masked off with this plastic. We got homemade anchors. Those are rocks. It's all thumbtacked up there and thumbtacked down here. Got the kids, kids Bluetooth speaker. So that's that's what's gonna be providing the music for us. And then, you yeah, know, that's pretty much it. So we got this thing uh, situated in the garage and we're about to start working on it, do a little body work. Uh, but this, I can't fix that. I beat it out a little bit here, but for whatever reason, this plate is here holding i'll show you the inside of it it's pretty terrible so that's what it looks like on the inside um yeah i don't really i can't fix that i'm not a body guy i don't really do body work like that so um yeah that's just gonna have to kind of stay that way um 
We might put a little bit of mud here just to kind of make it look a little better, but that'll be ultimately his decision at the end of the day. But we'll fix like little dents like that. And we'll fix the bottom of the door. That can be done pretty easily. So it'll look a lot better than it does right now. What do you think about that? Oh my god, you got enough Bondo there? Nope. Probably not. Squeeze that shit out. Let's roll. That's what she said. Alright, alright, alright. That's enough. There's still a decent bit left in here. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is my cardboard mixing board because uh, someone cut the floor plastic one. my bad what? so just yeah basically what you want to do in this case is you want to cover in all the low spots so like anything else you can sand out so he's trying to cover in all the low spots and it's taking like almost all of the, ooh, we got some bondo on the floor yeah you always, you're always gonna want to run a lot more bondo than you think you want to run Sorry for the shaky camera, but that's all right. We can't afford a gimbal, so you know. Dude, that thing is still low. Should I get more mud? Nah, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave that. That nice layer on there. That one's gonna stay. Then we're gonna try and yeah. This door's got a couple spots. It's been hit a couple <laughs> times, so um, it's pretty low. Yeah, it's it's on the the bottom end of the door, but but we got it basically anywhere where we have a low spot. We're gonna want to do our best to cover it in before we spray, because once we spray, we're done. That's it. That's it is finished. what it is. You know what I mean? Shit, dude, do I have Bondo in my beard? No. No? We're good no, to go? No, no, you're good. Oh, good to go. Alright, fam, so that's gonna wrap it up for day one. We'll be back here tomorrow, bright and early. All bright eyed and bushy tailed. But we got some mud down there, some mud here. It's 
been sanded with 80 grit and taped off a little bit. Got some mud back here. That there's a low spot there. We're gonna fix that. And then we got this guy over here. It's already had one coat of body filler. Then another one, which I'll sand in the morning. And then we gotta get some mud on that. We're probably gonna need more uh, body filler. But yeah. And then this stuff, it, this car wasn't prepped very good when it was spray painted the first time. So we're spray painting over spray paint, by the way. Uh, but it should come out all right. And uh, we will see you again tomorrow for uh, day two. I wish we didn't get such a late start because we could have got pretty far. Um, but shit happens and yeah, we'll get work. Back in the garage, Ray's garage for day two. We brought a special guest. We got Jeremy. Tyler's back, of course. It's his car, so he'll be here. He'll be here for the duration of the performance. He's got the fenders off. Yep, I got a bush light. Don't judge me. It's already noon. We got that done, as you guys know. Tyler's working on the fender. He kind of reshaped this. It was a lot worse, and it looks pretty good. I think we could get a little more out of it. Yeah, you can definitely get some more out of it, but it looks a bunch a bunch better than it did. We gotta wait for uh, our more drunk friend to come move his bike, because uh, <laughs> we're not touching that thing. Nope. But we don't want to scratch it. But uh, we're gonna get right into this um, and get to prepping this car. And hopefully, we're gonna be doing some paint today. We're definitely doing primer. Not 100% sure on paint. I guess it'll depend on what time that happens, how the weather is when that happens and what time it is when that happens. I don't know if I said that already. Date. Um, I think it's like six or seven right now. Uh, we've been going pretty hard with body work and primer. Um, car's still not ready to be sprayed, but here we are. Uh, yeah, like like I said earlier, I can't fix that. There's <laughs> nothing that I know how to do or have the equipment to do to fix that. I've never even tried that, and I'm not gonna do it today. But fix this dent. Looks good. It's in primer. Don't worry. We're gonna wet sand that. Those tape lines out. Uh, the door, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. And then that's in primer. Then this part, this thing was caked in Bondo here. We chipped it off, uh, put more Bondo on it, because they put Bondo over paint, which, from what I know, you're not supposed to do. Then we got this fender and primer, that's probably gonna need another coat of primer right there, Tyler. Yeah, this the, uh, the part next to where the GT badge would normally go. Uh, this was reshaped. Um, it looks okay, I guess. It's definitely not by any means perfect, but uh, that's better. And then the door, this door was really messed up on the bottom. Um, there is a lot of body filler down there, but it looks pretty good uh, considering. And then there was a dent all the way down this line right here from either a wall or something. I don't know, but it's a lot better than it was. And we're about ready to move this thing outside and then wet sand it. 
after we clean the paint booth. But we're gonna move it out, sweep out the paint booth, redo the plastic, and then uh, wet sand it, get it ready to spray it in what I think is the morning. But this looks really good. There's a big dent right there. We'll sand that out. Uh, a lot has happened between the last time that I've actually talked to you guys and not just like a voiceover, but a live shoot. Um, we pretty much got this thing wet sanded all down with uh, 400 grit. Um, it is almost ready to paint. I mean, we got to touch up some of the uh, tape work because I taped it off just to protect us from sanding the windows because uh, we hit everything with 80 grit first to tear down the stuff that uh, wasn't prepped properly the first time. So you hit it all with 80 grit, rip all that stuff off, then uh, do the body work, which we did, as you can see here. You wanna show? <coughs> we got some body work there. Um, basically everywhere that's in primer is body work. These lines are so sharp uh, because I taped these off, but they're very smooth to the feel. Um, we're still gonna go over this thing with a scotch Brite pad too before we spray it, but uh, we're gonna take all this tape off and retape it because we just washed the car after we wet sanded it with 400 grit. So everything's been sanded down with 400 grit. Uh, most of the body work is pretty good. I mean, like I said, we're not professionals, so um, there is some, look at, look at my hands, they're all crinkled up because of the wet sanding, but everything's real smooth down here. Uh, we are going to hit it with a scotch brite pad, but it's clean. Everywhere that had bare metal has been primered. As you can see, the silver paint shining through. Here's another patch. There's a big old dent right there. This is actually my favorite one. Uh, this is the smoothest one that I laid. There's also like one of the smallest dents on the car. Uh, this one's pretty smooth too, but this was also a really small dent. It was either, I think it was here maybe. Yeah, it was right there. It was somewhere. It's right here before this one. <laughs> but it's all sanded down. Here's another sharp edge, but smooth right there. It's been wet sanded with 400. It'll get hit with a scotch Brite pad before we uh, actually spray this car. More primer up here. And a bunch of body work went into this door, as you can see. Show them. Oh, yeah. Basically, all this right here. And then from here to here. But it looks it's a new door. It looks pretty <laughs> decent. And then we showed you guys the hood. This has been wet sanded. But it's uh pretty much ready to paint. We're probably gonna We're probably gonna towel dry it and then uh spray it on more. Eight. We basically re-sanded the entire car with 320. Uh we had a little problem with some of the body filler. It kind of chipped off. We're not gonna fix it. We're just going to put a BC Racing sticker over it because um, we're not doing that. It's been We've been working on this car for three days. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm an Eagles fan. I'm going to be missing the Super Bowl spraying this thing, but it'll be worth it. Uh, so check out its current condition. It's all sanded down. We found a bunch more chips in it, got those out. This is the spot that I was telling you guys about. Try to just put self-etching primer on it, try and fill it in, but it ain't going to work. Got it taped off. Got a bunch more sanded out. Bunch of these chips sanded out. She's real smooth like. Got the window taped off. Got this thing all sanded down, ready to go. Nice and smooth. Everything's nice and smooth. You get it in the paint booth. Wipe it down. Yeah. Start uh, spraying some color on this unit. Uh, see how it goes. Tyler's fixing the paint booth. Then we gotta set up our exhaust system. What's going on here? Gotta set up our exhaust system, bro. Mm -hmm. Gotta set up our exhaust system on the door. Get the car in here, close those doors. We're gonna spray water down so that when we're walking around in here, we're not kicking dust up, stirring up a bunch of shit and should come out pretty decent we'll see to be determined Almost time we're about to spray this thing got the floor wet i do that so that when we're walking around in here no dust gets kicked up 
It also helps the overspray not stick to the ground. I'm gonna dry this thing off, wipe this thing down with wax and grease remover. I had to rinse these cans off because uh, they had a bunch of dust on them from the body work. But this thing is pretty much ready to go. She looks minty, so we're gonna be spraying here soon. And you'll see that on the time lapse. Yeah, like I said, it's all wet back here. Got the ground damp so that we're not kicking up a bunch of dust. <clears throat> and it should come out pretty nice. So we'll see. We're gonna get the front and rear bumper in here. And then uh, we'll be ready to start a paint Got job. This thing all wiped down with wax and grease remover. Just finishing up the last bit of parts that we have to wipe with wax and grease remover. Uh, what that does is basically removes all the wax and grease from the uh, from the metal and then we're gonna hit it with these tack rags uh, these are for like lint and other various items that could potentially fall onto the painting surface before we spray our paint so I'm gonna do that and then we will be ready to put some color on this thing we're about to lay down our first coat and uh, hopefully it goes well. Okay. We will see. Ready? Yep, we're live. Just real quick, uh, obviously I'll be a little muffled, but this is what we got after our first coat. So the first coat down, obviously we don't have max coverage, so if you don't want to spray it too thick, make it run, and all that other good stuff. But we got a bunch of red parts. It's looking good. That was just one coat, some light. I can't even see back here when I was spraying it. But it's red, that's for sure. Well, yep. it's gonna look good. What do you think? It's gonna look good. Oh, yeah. I like the color. We put two coats down, and this is where we're at. Looking pretty good, looking pretty red. I'm liking it. A little bit of bugs here and there, but overall, but this ain't even cleared yet. This is just base coat, but she looking good. We're gonna keep going hard, and uh, hopefully when it's all said and done, this thing is red. Tyler with his heavy ass hands <laughs> put a run in the damn paint. You see it? Okay. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Well, she's coming along. I think she's gonna turn out pretty nice. Colors down. Uh, next, we will be spraying the clear coat, and I think this thing looks pretty sick, if I do say so myself. Uh, what do you think? Good. Yeah. So these two are my things, and I'm kind of saying so myself. I don't know. It's looking a little light right there. Come here. Look, see it? See that line? Oh yeah. I see it on the video. Can I hit it Probably. She's coming out pretty fire though. For the most part. This ain't even got no clear on me yet, bro. Kind of looks like that over here too. It's been about an hour after the last coat of clear and this thing looks pretty fucking good if you ask me or anyone else. It's got some dust on the top here, like you can see on the roof. This is actually dust, watch. We'll just do a quick, yeah. So, like Ray said, everything in the air, and then it just <laughs> kind of landed on the on the top of it, but we're not gonna wipe that off or do anything with that today. We're gonna let this thing dry, and it is gonna come out, I'd say pretty good, dude. Look how shiny that looks, I know, bro. I can see your reflection no. on this side. Look how shiny that looks, dude. Jesus Christ, man. That's a spray. You used a spray can on this? <laughs> Actually, we used that amount of spray cans on it. Jesus, man. That's wet. Look at that. That's wet, bro. Yeah, that's wet. That's wet. You're wet. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Looks super sick. Uh, I think we're gonna let this thing dry at least 24 hours before we wash it. And then we're gonna do a small wet sand and buff. There's not like a crazy, crazy amount of clear on here. I mean, there is a lot, but not too, too much. So I don't wanna push it too hard, but we'll get some 2000 grit, sand it down, hit it with the buffer and uh, really see how it comes out. And I think it's gonna look nice. So stay three. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. This is what we got. We're gonna get this thing outside, see what it looks like in the little bit of sunlight that we have left. And uh, yeah, take it from there. All right, hand tight racing fam. This is uh, pretty much the end of this video. We still have a little bit of work to do on this thing. We got to wet sand and buff it out, make it look 100% perfect. Uh, it hasn't even gotten water on it yet. We just kind of drove it from Ray's house and we're almost to Tyler's house. It looks pretty good considering how it was when we started this job. Um, it's very shiny. It's very red, uh, but check it out. Sheesh, it's definitely a lot more red than it was. Yeah, so it's very glossy and it's not fully cured. I'm sure tomorrow after, we're gonna let it bake in the sun for like, I don't know, six, seven, eight hours, who knows but yeah she's shiny 
she's shiny and she looks good she looks much better than she did but it's ultimately his decision how you feel i'm real happy with it came out i think it looks good i, I think it, i think when it uh cures 100 percent, it'll look even more better cures 100 percent. we get that dust off of there yeah the the dust Yo. we haven't even hit this with water yet so you can see a bunch of stuff here like check this out hold on yeah oh, that's yeah right there. yeah that ain't that bad <laughs> there's a lot of dust on it right now from when it settled so in the sun it'll look much better and there's some dust down there so it's gonna come out real good Shout out to BC Racing. Shout out to Rust Oleum, even though they didn't share my story of us painting a whole car with their paint. But it is what it is. And uh, yeah. So you can check out Tyler's Instagram. What is it? Sideways197. After we wet sand and buff it and see the complete finished product. But this thing is super nice. And I know it's gonna look very good when it's in the sun and fully cured and washed probably don't even have to wet sand above it but we want to because we know it'll make it look better honestly you can probably get away with just like a one-step polish you think just just hit it with the buffer just hit it with the buffer just spray rubbing compound all over it like your saturday nights it's not rubbing compound polish <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> but yeah that'll be it for this video like subscribe share this um there's not too many people that will uh, go this far with the spray can job. So, uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys watching, uh, and we'll see you next time.